So recently I've been thinking about this same-sex attraction struggle and the, the horror it's brought to my life and brings to so many others. And you think, now what's the bright side? What could the Lord be doing through this difficult, beyond difficult struggle? And I think the answer is, the Bible says, For the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us. Talking about the church, those of us who know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So at the end of this life, we will think of this life as a flash in the pan. Here today and gone tomorrow, and the sufferings within this life, within this small time that we spend here on earth, will be nothing. They'll be meaningless when we see Jesus face to face. So... Many of us would not know Jesus, many, many of you who are listening here, would not know Jesus were it not for your same-sex attraction, right? You're looking for a solution to a big, big problem. A problem that makes you feel filthy and disgusting. So you've been backed into a corner, we've been brought to a point of decision by a horrible, horrible, what we consider to be a curse or a defect. And that, I think, is the Lord in the work of Satan. We could say Satan's a small hand doing, doing some kind of horrible things down here on earth through our sin, and the Lord is the bigger hand. All things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose. Choose to fight. 